Hey there, it's Chris from the Blockade Pinball Podcast, uh, doing a Let's Play video of William's Pinball App Daily Challenges. Uh, this one was by special request uh, for Attack from Mars 5-Minute Premium Hard. Yeah, I actually had Pro Hard ready to go, and the request was, no, not good enough. I need help getting past Premium Hard. Okay, so through the cycles we went, and uh, this one we're going to go. So it's uh, four point something billion in five minutes. Um, I don't find it terribly difficult. That's not to say it's not tough, but there's some tricks you got to use. So why don't we dive right in and uh, see what those tricks are. So 4.3 mil billion is the object. Here. So hold left flipper, flip all the way around, and catch. This is the usual attack. I didn't get the center to open up though, so that wasn't good. I told you to do it the, the more difficult way. What am I gonna go ahead and? Uh, <laughs> I wasn't trying for the ball lock. Just trying to get the ramp, but oh well. Um, good news is we can lose balls on this one, so that's not an issue. So the general plan is going to be kind of open up the middle uh, before I actually get uh, total annihilation. So if I can just, like right now I only got one more to go, so that's not an issue. Always catch the ball out of the top project. But a bounce when coming down the right side. Again, there we go. Got a hurry up going. We can actually do hurry up since we're not worried about ball count. But why bother, right? Whee, let's just play a little bit. There we go. All right. We gotta save the Statue of Liberty. Now here's the question, because it's only gonna take a few hits to nail this saucer. Do we go ahead and nail the saucer and then go for total annihilation? Or do we get total annihilation and nail us also during that? It kind of depends on how well I do at this moment. I said by how well, you know, in terms of uh, hitting the uh, the ramps and stuff. At the moment, I'm not doing well. Oh, look at that. So instead, I just started regular multi ball. Okay, that answers that question. So. We're going to try and destroy the saucer and get some jackpots in the same instance. Hopefully, getting to a super jackpot. One. It is a bit tricky shooting for jackpots while you got too many balls going on. It's kind of a bit of hit and miss. Boom, saucer's ready to go. Saucer is gone, so now we can just can concentrate on getting the jackpots, which there's only one left. We got it. Now we get to go for super jackpot, which will rotate around the table starting from the left. Mm. At this point, I should get it on the right hand side, if I can. It's gonna go to the far left, or far right. There we go, boom, super jackpot. And now you can shoot all jackpots once more if you want. But I lost the multiball, so we won't be able to do that. Jackpot! <clears throat> One last jackpot for the fun of it. We're still not halfway there, but we are over halfway done on our time. So, I need total annihilation. That's what I'm going to go for. Although, I might want to unlock the middle. For the sake of having it unlocked. So, two more shots on the middle. Yeah, that's what we're going to go for. One more shot. Now let's get the hurry up. Oh, Watch missed. out, man. They've missed. got a big old bean. Kinda want the hurry up. <laughs> really kinda wanna, but okay. That's cool. I wanna get that middle open before I shoot that final uh, lane shot. There we go, for total annihilation. Minute and a half, and I'm still not halfway done. Ooh, this is tough. Okay. We need to get total annihilation going right now. Boom, there we go. Alright. Now we can just throw the saucer. And 
And we're also going to start trying to feed the pop bumper, see if we can get super jump going. I know it's a bit much when you got four balls going, but something to keep in the back of my mind. Look at that, look at the jumping points. So we got the saucer. Oh, less than 10 for Super Jets. Super, super Jets, boom. So now it's just a matter of feeding those because you're going to get a ton of points from up there. Got less than 100. Or less than a. Whoa. <laughs> I was trying to get out the words less than a billion and didn't get them out in time. Alright, let's see what we got here. Lu, 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 lu. Coins, coins, coins. Only one. Okay. So, as you can see, I was way far behind with just like 2 minutes and 15 seconds left to go, and I still wasn't even halfway on my points. But that's the beauty of Attack from Mars, in that the longer you play, the bigger everything points go in terms of like, you know, blowing up your saucer. Um, plus, we got both a regular multi-ball and got the super jackpot within it. So that was a huge help. And then getting Total Annihilation. And, I mean, there's two schools of thought you can do with Total Annihilation, which is just try and shoot the lanes and get whatever bonuses you can. But while you've got that many balls going on, it's just better to feed up to the pop bumpers, try and get uh, Super Pops going. Because once you've got Super Pops going, it's just, what is it, 3 million a bumper hit? Um, I mean, you can really rack up the points really fast doing it that way. So that's kind of the mentality that goes into this. Now, I'm not saying I'm always successful <laughs> on premium hard Attack from Mars 5 Minute. Far from it. Um, if you get everything rolling the proper way, then it becomes really easily. But if suddenly you're having a moment of struggle where, you know, yeah, you get, you get multi-ball and nothing good happens in it, well, then you just basically wasted time. Uh, and that's time that's going to be really hard to recover from. So, that's that's kind of the issue at hand uh, when it comes to that. But stick with it. Attack from Mars, although the point totals are insane that it asks for, it's a relatively forgiving table uh, within the challenges. Feed the loops. Feed the ramps. Um, don't concentrate purely on the middle because you're going to spend a lot of time draining the ball and waiting for the ball to launch. Um, let the middle be circumstantial that your balls happen to fly into that during multi-ball. Uh, so if you see that you're about to light Total Annihilation or light uh, the third ball of multi-ball, you know, lock that third ball, uh, and you only have one target hit left on the middle, well, then go ahead, open it up. Just do it. And then you'll, you'll get this extra destruction while you're doing all your other activity. It's just going to happen uh, with balls bouncing about. So that's kind of the uh, the methodology for doing Attack from Mars Premium on hard at 4.3 billion points. Uh, hopefully that was a help. I think these help. I don't know. We'll see. Um, hey, for those uh, watching on Twitch, stick around. For those watching on YouTube, I appreciate it. And why don't you sign up for a Twitch channel, then you can see what happens after we do these kind of videos. All right, we're going to say bye-bye to the YouTube folks for a second. Okay, bye-bye, YouTube.